The Rube Goldberg contest is named after Rube Goldberg, a cartoonist who won a Pulitzer Prize for his political cartoons, many of which featured machines that perform simple tasks through a series of complicated steps. These machines have come to be known as Rube Goldberg machines, and Goldberg's far-reaching influence can be seen in everything from the mousetrap board game to that breakfast machine at the beginning of Pee-wee's Big Adventure. These drawings represent the absurdity that can take place when minds become so focused on the minutiae of the task that they lose sight of the essence and simplicity of the task itself. Take, for example, the participants in the national annual Rube Goldberg machine contest. Every year, students from across the country come to Purdue University to compete against each other in a contest where the goal is to accomplish a mundane task in the most absurd yet magically choreographed way possible. This year, the task is to make a hamburger. The theme we're going for here is like Big Ten football, like we had the whole Big Ten conference and kind of showing that our machine has got to defeat all the Big Ten to win and we got here since we're at Purdue, we have our final team to beat is to beat Purdue, we got to win at Purdue. So that's kind of the theme we go off of, we have like things that have different passes, like we have got a guy on a robot there that he runs the touchdown in for the burger. What's the uh, theme here? What's, the, what's your machine all about? A diner. So we're, uh, 50's diner. Yes. Uh, uh, classic diner theme, retro diner theme is supposed to be. How did you get the idea for the diner? Uh, we just kind of thought cheeseburger, then it just came to us really. It's going to start over there on the red, and it's going to go around a little swirly thing. Then it's going to go down um, a rubber band plinko system. Then it's going to drop into, we call it Chinese elevator, where the, the cloth goes down with the forces the other side to go up which travels down an incline, which forces that to go down, which forces that to go up. Then it's gonna go into a cup system that's got a fulcrum, so when it gets pushed down on one side, it's gonna push the peanuts up on the other side. As a team, we put in 4,000 to 4,500 hours on this machine. 4,500 man hours, wow, or woman hour. Uh, Are there any uh, women on the team? Men on the team. Okay. Is it, this is gonna be a pretty delicious burger then? Absolutely. A veggie burger. <laughs> and is this, is this burger going to be delicious or what? Uh, the burger's a few days old actually, so uh, nobody's going to eat it. Would you eat the burger when it's done? Uh, no. Not really. I don't really eat hamburgers. Not a chance. That meat's been sitting out all night. All the Everything's been sitting out. Oh, hang on. I just remember we forgot stuff. Hey, Greg. <laughs> we left the ketchup and mayonnaise in the fridge. It's going to push our Pekin Dragon out of the underneath the pink platform, which allows the frog to zip line down. This and it's just like a club that you guys uh, that you guys had, or this is our physics class. a pulley system there's a string that goes up through the trolls legs which holds it in place what do you see are the uh, the benefits of uh, having kids participate in a Rube Goldberg competition like this it seems to foster their ingenuity and their thinking skills it helps them to learn to work together it helps them to be creative and for some of them I think it helps to push them towards a possible career maybe in engineering or something like that can you tell me a little about the theme here? What's uh, what do we have going on? We've got medieval going on. Is there any caffeine involved in the making of this? A lot of caffeine. I mean, I I woke up like two hours ago, so er, well, I only got two hours of sleep, so yeah, it's pretty intense. You're just running off of caffeine and uh, junk food. Golf ball goes into what we call the floating golf ball because it floats in the air. It looks like it floats in the air. Uh, we have a uh, 50 states trip across America theme this year. What's holding all this together? What's your uh, adhesive of choice here today? Um, probably super glue. Hot glue. Hot glue. Hot okay. Glue. Yeah. Hot glue. <laughs> hot glue. Lots of hot glue and a lot of hot glue. Any hot glue? Uh, not a lot of hot glue. A lot of faith is holding this together. Which then pulls up on uh, the dial rod, which allows our bouncy ball to go through the slinky. Do you have any experience in the burger making profession? 
Um, no, not not quite. I we we I don't think any of us worked at a fast food place with burgers, but uh, I know ours makes it faster than the Burger King in town. Where do you get all this stuff? What's all this made out of? Really just junk lying around, to be perfectly honest. Wood that we pick up from Home Depot, just supplies that we pick up from Ace, and, you know, just magic happens. Buckets, shovels, we use metal rails, we use pool balls, dominoes, um, we use the pitcher, straws, frisbees, plastic toy boats. The connects, just random wood pieces. I mean, we, we didn't really spend much money on supplies, and we got a garage door motor on there someone just brought from their house, so a lot of, a lot of junk that works together. I think everybody right now for the national one is uh, pretty proud of the, the guillotine here. It chops the onion. Um, it's pretty sharp blade. Uh, did anyone sustain any injuries while making this? Um, actually, the teacher did get hurt a few times during this. Um, was it you, I think? They dropped a weight on her once and got hot glue on her a couple times <laughs> during the mess of making the hot glue ball. It all worked out though. Purple arm to fall down, which is a set of a bag of weights up there which falls into the funnel. The funnel goes down and then there's like a six or seven different pulley system. They say everything's bigger in Texas. I noticed there's some enormous tomato slices back there. What's the deal with that? Well, that's actually funny because we brought tomatoes from Texas because the ones here, we figured they'd be smaller and they were. So we had to use the ones from Texas. <laughs> you guys get together you know as a team and basically it's like-minded people coming together to build a contraption that does amazing things depositing each ingredient in regards to the patty lettuce tomato onion salt and pepper and the top of the bun into our little shaft and they all yell order up <laughs> 